Okay, here we are. Um, this is Sherry Thurston. I was showing you the Sneeze Fairy Sneaker print that pretty much started um, my logo back in 1992. I found out that the fishermen were calling the boots Sneeze Fairy Sneakers. And uh, so I did a design with the boots. And uh, so it's been on my t-shirts and posters and all kinds of things through the years. And I have shirts in here today that I am very happy to have various sizes, some good large sizes like 2X and 3X ladies with a V-neck. And uh, they're so cool. And you can actually add necklaces to what you're wearing. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, up here is the Sneeze for Sneaker painting. And you can see that I made it like a Gucci boot. I put the Sneeze Fairy sneakers inside the lining of the boot and down in the sand and, and just was having some fun there. And, um, and then during um, a time when we were going through so many things, I designed this shirt. Um, this is a tie-dyed one that I tie-dyed for you. <coughs> Sorry, I've been talking too much. Um, put Sneeze Fairy Strong here because... Times are different right now, but we're going to come out of it. And I want you to know that uh, we're going to have a wonderful life and take care of your family and do what you can do to enjoy life and be safe and um, enjoy Sneeds Ferry or Thompson Island. If you're visiting or if you're moving in here, please remember to stop by the gallery. You can also call by finding um, my phone number on Google. Um, just Google Thurston Art Gallery or Google Th Art Classes. You'll usually get me that way, too. I can meet up with you over here. Uh, just set up an appointment. And um, we've worked things out even during COVID where people would just come uh, pick up something from my front door. So if I knew you are coming, I can do it that way. These are little tiny onesies here. So if you have a newborn and you want to put something cute on them, and I know how important they are because when you're trying to put a diaper on a baby and they're moving around, you need something that you can put on and snap on and all that. It's a lot of fun, you know. So I want you to know that I have down to small sizes of the sneaker, and I can order things for you, whatever that you might need. I have the opportunity to print things larger. Uh, we have over here... Um, this is a print, by the way. Isn't that pretty? That's a, called Carl Bay. And then uh, these are little huts that were over at Camp Lejeune, and I think they had to tear them down, and a lot of people are real sad about that. There's a turtle nest right there in the left corner. So this is very reminiscent for a lot of people and so colorful whether you went to stay there or not, but you might want something like this. It could be printed up real big and, and add a cute little um, panorama painting to put in a room or add a kitchen area or dining room somewhere. So we have, uh, by the way, pottery here. I've got so much going on here. I hope I can get it in the light for you. This is by uh, Carol, Carolyn Crisp. Chris Tacy, and she goes by C.C. Moon. I have a better chance of saying that. But, uh, but she's got wood-fired glazes here that with all kinds of texture on them. Look at that texture. She takes real shells and presses it in there and fills it in beautifully on the inside. And prices are really good. Uh, some, some things are just so unique. She, she does unusual bottoms. Look at those bottoms. You know, um, and this one to me looks like a great piece to put at your um, sink. If you have like a toothbrush area or something like that, you could use this. I hope you can see that. Um, and then these pretty ones that are like sea, sea foam green, I think you might would call that or something. And then doesn't that look interesting right here? It's got a little top to it right here. It's got a deep little inset there, so it'll stay on there for you. And then we have some mugs. Some of them look matching and some of them don't. Down here, these are all new, and I think that matches that one right there. So you can come see what there is here. Oh, you might want to just have individual choices for family members. There's some bowls down here that are about the same shape, a little different in the inside design. She was playing with them and having fun. And then there's some red tones in these over here, and green, and some black, and gold in there, looks like. Um, unusual 
um, lips right there in those mug tops right there. Um, so she's she came and worked hard yesterday because we had open house yesterday and last night and we had a good crowd in here and we had fun to chat and talk about things and um, what's going on with each other and uh, different people came in and bought and especially today I had some sales today uh, some people from out of town so um, it's always fun in here we have um, handmade pottery by Brigitte Sellers and so there are little bubbles in this fossil land right here that she's got nice big bulb lots and lots of work here um, you know it just Things that are so unique here, you wouldn't believe it. Um, earrings by Lulu Kellogg. She's on Etsy, and I am proud to have her work here. She's got like the little sea horses, and they sparkle right there. And these little looks like a, a claw from a crab right there. Isn't that something? And then these are beautiful. They like got a beautiful pink pearl on them like that. And she makes these impressions. It's like roses inside there. Can you see that? Okay, so anyway, this is Lulu, and then Dove Designs are over here for longer pieces. Um, she has four pieces here, and this year I sold three of her pieces that are just exquisite. So th these are bigger pieces, and if you like a long necklace with pretty stones that are just very selective and, you know, there, there's something you would really like to share with, um, you know, an event or something like that so that you look really wonderful and a showpiece, you know what I mean? And then um, I have things from the Riverview Cafe. Uh, Miss Janice Twilliger, she made the pies. And so I got a chance to take a picture of her while she was in the kitchen years ago. And she's also featured in Women Peeling Shrimp, which I did back in the 80s. And it's over here on the wall, right there. And so Miss Edens and Miss Janice, Miss Georgie were in the kitchen. They would work like 30 years peeling shrimp for you to come and eat since the 1940s. This, this restaurant has really been significant in Sneeds Ferry. You're in the heart of Sneeds Ferry when you go down to the waterfront there and then you come up to where Thurston Art Gallery is. There was a big store where my parking lot is, two stories. And then on the other side was a feed store, two stories with a barbershop, beauty shop. Uh, just a lot of stuff going on. Down this road, going back towards Handy Mart, there were like maybe 10 or more stores down the road. And um, there was a theater down there and they've been fixing up the theater area and then there was another one that was one of the post offices and a dress shop and um, a lot's happening there too so there's no telling what you're going to see revived down here um, the town has changed a lot we lost a lot of restaurants down on um, the waterfront at Foster's Landing we have a fisheries landing there that people can put their boats in for free which is amazing and uh you don't get that everywhere you know so it's a busy place um but we used to go there and eat at captain jim's restaurant which has been taken down it was also blackbeards and uh you know they um they had damage from hurricane florence so they i guess they had an opportunity to sell that land and you can't blame them you know um, but i do miss being able to go down there and have more choices to eat and visit the tackle shop down there um there was green turtle there there are a lot of locals who know that i'm showing you a long panorama that i did kind of like the way norman rockwell would do it showing you the riverview cafe before hurricane florence damage and then behind that you'd see a little building there that was part of the um, storage and um, used I think by Riverview as well as coming from the fish house, Everett's fish house. Uh, there are many boats that have been, uh, you know, blocked, sorry I can't say it, docked down there. You can see the towers, water towers from the engineer school on the other side too, right there. Years ago I used to work over there as an illustrator 
and I got to learn a lot about the Marine Corps then. <laughs> um, but th this is just a fun piece right here, and I got a nice large one right here to purchase. And uh, Trudy has a house right here, Trudy Everett. Uh, you can see her, you know, A-frame right there. Um, she owns the original, so I'm glad that she encouraged me to do that. Thank you. I, I think you're going to be aware of more things as you come through this town more and listen to the local people. Do that. Get to meet the people here. You're going to like it. This is the inlet right here where some of the homes are still standing, and um, this painting right here shows a staircase there, and I think maybe the houses may be missing there because it just looks like up and down there and it's pretty and people walking around there and at that time let's see that was 2004 i think you could walk around that inlet in, in many years after that um, you couldn't uh, we had some storms 90 let's see 95 six somewhere in there and so you know a lot of things were messed up from bertha and fran 200 houses went out to sea, and um, so now we, we have a lot more things that people are putting their houses up more on um, high um, stairs and, you know, enough in there so that water can flow through. But you have to remember that the storm, Mother Nature, the ocean is something else and wind and all that. So be careful with your safety when you're building, okay? Um, this is the um, selection of shirts that came in, pretty colors. I have one hot pink right here. I'm just waiting to see who gets this one. It is small. It is, um, let's see, it's a 1012 youth medium. So if you have somebody who loves like a hot pink, a little girl, or whoever, I, I've seen guys wear it too, so you know, whatever. Um, and then there's teal colors right here. See, there's a pretty teal, the back side of it. Let's see if I can get this off and show you how pretty that is. See that design on the back? It's a white design back there. Isn't that pretty? And some of the designs on the backs have different colors, like the orange and the blue and the white. Um, but, you know, this time I think we just went with the back side. This one's playing with the, some of these white shirts here. I see that and then on the teal yes white yeah so you're gonna see that um, you have some choices here look at these see isn't that pretty that's like a, a salmon color it is so pretty and there is um a green let me see if I can get that out of there there's a beautiful green right here does that sh it shows up darker it's really brighter. It's like a brighter green there. It's got more yellow in it than on this camera. Okay. And then there's a light blue. These are, let's see, these are large. And I think, let's see, ladies, I believe. So I got that. And I got this lighter color right here. Ooh, there goes the car. Okay, there's a baby blue up above, and then there's, this is more of a lighter color, um, kind of orangier looking here, and it's just not showing up like I'd like you to see it. But, um, and then the teal is here. So I think you would like to come in here. Um, if you want to see me, please make sure that you Google the store in Sneeze Ferry, Thurston Art Gallery, and you can get the phone number and call me if you're really trying to get up with me uh, rather than just you can text me too but if you can call me i try to keep my phone very close to me but um sometimes i don't check the messages fast enough for somebody so if you're time sensitive on what you're doing you might want to make a phone call and then text me too and hopefully we can get together but I am going to have a birthday this week, so I might be doing some different things this week. This is Miss Fern right here, and she was my mama's age, and I really felt, felt like I was talking to my mama. She was so great, and she has a lot of family in the Davis Seafood family. Her husband, Joe Frank Red, 
was a, a captain on a boat and took parties out. And she actually was so part of it. I, you know, she was like with the fish, whatever they had to do, or shrimp. Um, this is my youngest son, Josh, who really didn't know who she was. But when I put this all together from a photograph I took years ago with her, I called it trust because he's looking up at her like, should I trust you? And she was one of the first, she was like the person to trust, you know? And then and there's her dog, Tippy, underneath the swing, a little jealous there. So come see this one. Um, I have little girls here that one of the grandmas from Missouri sent me the photos. And I did this painting years back. And um, it's been a lot of fun for some people. They, they like that little piece. This was the first shrimp festival poster that we did here and it sold out and then also at the time i always wanted to have my art on a wine bottle and this did get on the cover of a wine bottle so i was really happy about that and then up top is my imaginary ocean at my house because i don't have a house on the ocean got my flip-flops there and in the ocean and some very interesting clouds. You got to come see this and tell me what you see inside of those clouds. It's kind of a puzzle. And then this is a smaller version up here of the big inlet painting right here. So you might want to just take home a smaller piece. I think that's it for right now. I've got a lot of things I could show you and um, some things on paper that are not mounted and you can take them to a framer. I know a good framer, by the way. And um, so you might want to, to do some of that. So have a good weekend. This is Sherry Thurston, and it's Saturday, the 9th of July. Bye, everybody.